Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. We're going to be talking about a very popular topic, hair grease. I've gotten lots of questions about my thoughts on hair grease. Does it help your child's hair grow? What's the deal with hair grease? Did we cancel hair grease for good? So I'm going to get into it. As you can see, I'm at the store here and there's lots of options for hair grease, but I'm specifically going to go with blue magic that's actually what my mother used to use in my hair when i was younger and it was very popular until it seems like the natural hair community canceled off grease grease is bad grease is just not good get rid of the grease use all these other products and people kind of just started looking at grease like it was taboo like something horrible to do so blue magic has the kind with coconut oil with conditioner in it as well as the other kind here that says the original anti-breakage formula so i picked up the blue bottle that said anti-breakage formula here is my daughter savannah she is two years old if you're a newbie definitely check out our other videos to see the things I've done to grow her hair to the length that it is today. Her hair is um, pretty long, healthy, and in a great state. I started her hair care routines from when she was a baby using aloe vera, rice water, authentic Jamaican black castor oil, all of that good stuff. So that is how we got to the point of what you see here. She experiences a lot of shrinkage, as you can tell. And depending on the style, sometimes her hair will look shorter than it really is. Or there's so many different things I do to her hair. Um, to try to just keep it maintained so here is her scalp um her scalp doesn't experience danger for anything like that i use aloe vera a lot as well as hair moisture moisturizers as well as hair milks <laughs> so that's why her um, scalp is generally pretty good along with that authentic jamaican black castor oil that i rub on her scalp but i wanted to tackle this whole big issue about grease so the blue magic conditioning grease um first of all i feel like it smells good as soon as i opened it it just brings me back to my childhood but the directions say you just apply it to the hair and scalp which is true so this is my feeling about grease i'm gonna go ahead here's the consistency of it it's pretty pasty in a sense i'm gonna add it to her hair while i do um a twist out on her hair i'm basically gonna do two strand twist very loosely um in different sections of her hair with the grease and then i'm also going to spray a little bit of my aloe vera juice that i made um, as a daily moisturizer if you want to know how to make that check out my video that explains it i'm going to put that through a small section of her hair spraying it then taking my detangler brush and just detangling her hair that spray that i use in her hair as you can tell it immediately detangles and smooths it out so it's easy to comb and it'll be easy to two strand twist I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the blue magic grease to that section. I'm just showing you her curls there. See, nice and smooth. I'm going to add the blue magic grease and then I'm just going to split that in half and begin to two strand twist her hair. And the idea is I want to see how the blue magic grease kind of um, performs in her hair. You know, is it going to be thick, globby and sticky and pasty? Or is it going to retain the moisture that it says that um, it brings to the hair? And is it going to maintain that shininess? And how will it help her braid out slash twist out tomorrow when I take it out? So that's what you see me doing here. I'm simply twisting the hair. I'll twist it down to the ends. I'm adding more blue magic to her strands as I go down. I would recommend you doing that so that you're not missing any of the strands and definitely are able to moisturize it. So the biggest complaint about hair grease was that hair grease has petroleum jelly in it, has a lot of things actually in the ingredients that people weren't aware of that they felt actually clogs the pores on the scalp and prevents hair growth. So let's just have a real moment for a second. When I was a child and a lot of other children that I knew back then, um, our hair was like down our back. It was nice, healthy, and our moms were using that good old hair grease, a little bit of water, 
Um, they were using pink lotion, which, um, you know, that's a whole nother story. I'll give you my whole spiel on that. But those were the things they were using and our hair was healthy. Granted, they also weren't doing a lot to our hair. So maybe styling it every couple of days, preferably braids and such, but definitely always adding that hair grease to the scalp um, and the hair. Some people's hair experienced breakage. However, some people's hair, such as mine when I was little, flourished greatly, like the healthiest it ever was, back when my mother was just using good old Blue Magic hair grease. So, if you do some research on your own, or you can just rely on this video, that's fine. What you'll go to understand is that hair grease is not a bad thing. Hair grease, when used correctly, can actually help your child's hair to grow. If your child has similar hair texture to my daughter Savannah's hair, it definitely would benefit fit from hair grease specifically the strands i want to stress that now it is factual if you put too much hair grease on the scalp consistently over and over again of course you are going to clog your child's pores within their head you don't want to do that what you should kind of be focusing on it's okay to add a little bit of that hair grease to the scalp and i say a little meaning sparingly but it's better to be focusing on the hair strands getting that moisture on there is what's going to help that anti-breakage formula that the bottle says to perform and do what it needs to do dry hair breaks off and when dry hair breaks off you lose the length there's no length retention and the hair just looks brittle and really bad now using the hair grease on the strands even down to the end is what's going to help you even if you're braiding your child's hair or styling it every other day you want to add that hair grease to the strands you're going to start to see look how moisturizing that is a lot of people struggle with what can i use as an effective moisturizer um, that offers sheen shine and just really holds you definitely might want to check out good old hair grease it's a throwback but it's a goodie and it's still around for a reason regardless of what the trends say now i'd encourage you to definitely give it a try as you can see her hair soaked up that moisture it's nice and shiny but the real test again you can see the scalp looks good too nice and shiny the real test will be though how her hair turns out the next day so here we have it this is the next day and i'm just simply unraveling her hair so what i can say is it still feels very moisturized to the touch very shiny not sticky um you can definitely tell that the blue magic hair grease stayed in her hair overnight and my daughter has hair that gets very dry so when you're looking at it right here it looks like oh wow that must be dry but i'm actually going to show you my hand to see how much grease is still on her hair strands which is wonderful it's going to help in terms of her hair not breaking off of course and it's easy to actually manage it's very easy to unravel her two strand twist so i definitely would say if you're looking for something that's going to help with manageability and also help to prevent breakage you definitely might want to try some good old grease I have also gotten the question on when could you use hair grease in your child's hair. I do not recommend um, using hair grease in an infant's hair. I would say to wait until your child's hair becomes thicker and the consistency begins to change. As you can see here, this is very, very, very moisturizing and shiny. It's all over my hands and that's just me having unraveled some of her two strand twist. Now back to when you should start it. The reason you want to wait a couple of months is it is super thick, guys. It doesn't make sense to be adding this thick of a grease to an infant scalp. That just wouldn't make sense. Um, definitely wait until your child is months, months, months older before even incorporating some type of grease or when you start to feel like their hair no longer is responding to some of the moisturizing effects that you've been using, definitely go ahead and try some grease. Again, stay away from clogging the scalp and the pores. You can definitely still do authentic Jamaican black castor oil. It is a looser oil and is actually proven to help stimulate the hair growth from the root and help with blood circulation in the hair. So that's the difference between authentic Jamaican black castor oil and grease. But by all means, don't write grease off just because because everyone says oh that's bad do your own research see how it responds in your child's hair as you can see it responds well in savannah's hair what will basically happen is her hair will get more volume and more poofier over the next couple of days 
and that good old old school grease will continue to keep it moisturized. Don't always listen to what the trends say. Grease gets an A+. And it most definitely will help your child's hair from not breaking. So definitely invest in some grease for those reasons. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.